in quantum computing and specifically the quantum circuit model of computation. A quantum gate is a basic quantum circuit operating on a small number of qubits. They are the building blocks of quantum circuits, like classical logic gates or for conventional digital circuits. Unlike many classical logic gates, quantum logic gates are reversible. However, it is possible to perform classical computing using only reversible gates. For example, the reversible Toffoli gate can implement all Boolean functions. This gate has a direct quantum equivalent, showing that quantum circuits can perform all operations performed by classical circuits. Quantum logic gates are represented by unitary matrices. The most common quantum gates operate on spaces of one or two qubits, just like the common classical logic gates operate on one or two bits. This means that as matrices, quantum gates can be described by 2 times 2 or 4 times 4 unitary matrices, commonly used gates. Quantum gates are usually represented as matrices. A gate which acts on k qubits is represented by a 2kx2k unitary matrix. The number of qubits in the input and output of the gate have to be equal. The action of the quantum gate is found by multiplying the matrix representing the gate with the vector which represents the quantum state. In the following, the vector representation of a single qubit is, and the vector representation of two qubits is, where is the state where the first qubit has value A and the second qubit B. Hadamard gate The Hadamard gate acts on a single qubit. It maps the basis state to and to and represents a rotation of about the axis. Equivalently, it is the combination of two rotations about the y-axis followed by about the x-axis. It is represented by the Hadamard matrix. Since where I is the identity matrix, H is indeed a unitary matrix. Pauli X gate The Pauli X gate acts on a single qubit. It is the quantum equivalent of a NOT gate. It equates to a rotation of the block sphere around the x-axis by pi radians. It maps to and to. Due to this nature, it is sometimes called bit flip. It is represented by the Pauli matrix. Pauli Y gate The Pauli Y gate acts on a single qubit. It equates to a rotation around the y-axis of the block sphere by pi radians. It maps to and to. It is represented by the Pauli Y matrix. Pauli Z gate The Pauli Z gate acts on a single qubit. It equates to a rotation around the z-axis of the block sphere by pi radians. Thus, it is a special case of a phase shift gate with theta equals pi. It leaves the basis state unchanged and maps to. Due to this nature, it is sometimes called phase flip. It is represented by the Pauli Z matrix. Phase shift gates This is a family of single qubit gates that leave the basis state unchanged and map to. The probability of measuring a ROR is unchanged after applying this gate, however it modifies the phase of the quantum state. This is equivalent to tracing a horizontal circle on the block sphere by radians. Where is the phase shift? Some common examples are the gate where, the phrase gate where and the Pauli Z gate where. Swap gate The swap gate swaps two qubits. With respect to the basis, it is represented by the matrix. Square root of swap gate The SQRT gate performs halfway of a two qubit swap. It is universal such that any quantum many qubit gate can be constructed from only SQRT and single qubit gates. Controlled gates Controlled gates act on two or more qubits, where one or more qubits act as a control for some operation. For example, the controlled NOT gate acts on two qubits, and performs the NOT operation on the second qubit only when the first qubit is, and otherwise leaves it unchanged. It is represented by the matrix. More generally if U is a gate that operates on single qubits with matrix representation, then the controlled U gate is a gate that operates on two qubits in such a way that the first qubit serves as a control. It maps the basis states as follows. The matrix representing the controlled U is, when U is one of the Pauli matrices, sigma X, sigma Y, or sigma Z, the respective terms, controlled X, controlled Y, or controlled Z, are sometimes used. 
Toffoli Gate The Toffoli Gate, also CCNOT Gate, is a 3-bit gate, which is universal for classical computation. The quantum Toffoli Gate is the same gate, defined for 3 qubits. If the first two bits are in the state, it applies a Pauli X on the third bit, else it does nothing. It is an example of a control gate. Since it is the quantum analog of a classical gate, it is completely specified by its truth table. It can be also described as the gate which maps to Fredkin gate. The Fredkin gate is a 3-bit gate that performs a controlled swap. It is universal for classical computation. As with the Toffoli gate it has the useful property that the numbers of 0s and 1s are conserved throughout, which in the billiard ball model means the same number of balls are output as input. Universal quantum gates Informally, a set of universal quantum gates is any set of gates to which any operation possible on a quantum computer can be reduced, that is, any other unitary operation can be expressed as a finite sequence of gates from the set. Technically, this is impossible since the number of possible quantum gates is uncountable, whereas the number of finite sequences from a finite set is countable. To solve this problem, we only require that any quantum operation can be approximated by a sequence of gates from this finite set. Moreover, for the specific case of single qubit unitaries the solo vacatev theorem guarantees that this can be done efficiently. One simple set of two qubit universal quantum gates is the Hadamard gate, the gate, and the controlled knot gate. A single gate set of universal quantum gates can also be formulated using the three qubit Deutsch gate, which performs the transformation. The universal classical logic gate, the Toffoli gate, is reducible to the Deutsch gate, thus showing that all classical logic operations can be performed on a universal quantum computer. History the current notation for quantum gates was developed by Barenko et al., building on notation introduced by Feynman.